So the first is exercise. If I said to you, what are you doing for exercise? Most of you will say, well, I go to my hour at the gym or I went jogging or I did my 10,000 steps or whatever it is that you do. And then you go to work or you sit at home. The data are as follows. Sitting for five hours a day is equivalent on a health basis. I love saying this in front of an audience that's sitting. <laughs> it's equivalent on a health basis of smoking a pack and a quarter of cigarettes. Sitting for five hours on a health basis is the same as smoking a pack and a quarter of cigarettes. So the data actually came from a study in 1953 that wasn't quoted for over 50 years. And it was a guy named Jeremiah Morris in the British medical journal Lancet, one of the best medical journals. He looked at the 26,000 workers in the British Transit Authority. Half were the bus drivers that sat 90% of the day and drove the buses. And half were the ticket takers that walked up and down those double-decker buses. They weighed the same smoked the same, lived in the same environment, yet dramatically lower heart disease and cancer in the ticket takers. We have built a society of bus drivers. The more important you are in the company, the closer your parking space is to your desk. The richer you are, the more bathroom you have in your house. You don't have to walk room to room to go to the bathroom. We design buildings in our country based on LEED certification for the environment good for CO2, helps the environment. Why aren't we doing it based on health certification? The data came out last week that if you walk an hour a day, you actually reduce breast cancer incidence by 15%. More vigorous exercise over a couple of hours reduces it by close to 28%. A child who exercises in the morning before going to school actually increases their aptitude by 23%. That's good to great right there, yet we're not doing it. So I wear one of these little devices that looks at how much I walk during the day. And so it gives me a readout. And I was shocked how much I sat. Well, now I have a treadmill desk. So for two hours a day, I walk slowly while doing emails. I have a telephone where I kind of look like an air traffic controller, but I can walk around the office and talk. But I get up the end of the day, I get home, and I'm below my wife. I go and walk the dog so I can beat her and go to bed number one. <laughs> we are a competitive society. And competition actually works. 